Dear students, now I am going to take up unit 1.2 from paper 5.2 Applied Zoology, Histology and Biotechnique. Today I am going to discuss about insect pests effects and control of Cetophilus oryzae, rice weevil. So insect pests it is the one of the major challenges to humankind is a threat to food security due to invasive pests. Insect pests and an average are estimated to cause 15 to 20 percent yield losses in major food and cash crops. So this is uh, the data that I have taken from a recent papers. So the productivity of the agricultural crops in India is about 3 tons per hectare. It is uh, far less when compared to the, the st global standard out of which we are losing uh, due to insect pest is about 20, 26 to 29 percent. So what are the total loss agriculture loss due to the, uh, the, uh, the weeds due to diseases and other things. So the, the major part 26 to 29 percent it is from the insect pests. Among various storage insect pests, the grain moth, the Cetotroga cereale, maize rice weevil, this is what we are discussing, the Cetophilus oryzae, then legume weevil, Chalosoprecus species, that is we are going to discuss later, Pyrilla, Purposilla, this also. So all these are the, the most detrimental and major uh, you know um, the pests causing uh, uh, damage to the the crops and storage grains. Today we are going to discuss about rice weevil Cetophilus oryzae. It belongs to the phylum Arthropoda class insecta as you know so we are talking about insect pests. Order Coleoptera it is the major order in class insecta. It, it is about uh, 3 lakh species of beetles and uh, you know the ladybirds all these belong to this order. So the genus Cetophilus and the species Oryzae. So it is a common pest of uh, paddy, rice and all other cereals sorghum, wheat, barley, maize etc. and their products. The most destructive stored grain pest of India and other parts of the world. You may see these are the rice grain and you can see the this is uh, infested by the adult uh, flies of uh, Cetophilus oryzae. So it is called rice weevil common name because the life cycle of this was first studied in rice. So it is a the major pest of stored grains in India it is infesting all grains uh, you know the uh, wheat, jowar, uh, every grain will be infested by this and including uh, the you know the uh, pulses uh, all these are infested by this. So it is the major cause for stored uh, grain loss you know. So this uh, Cetophilus oryzae it is uh, the adult weevil is a reddish brown in color typical beetle like body. It is red, it is having an elytra, you can see the, the upper wings are uh, called, they are jointed and they are, they are co covering the, the lower uh, wings which are uh, used for, uh, you know, the flying. So that is what, that is what you can see the typical coleoptera character, it is called elytra. It is uh, the, this uh, uh, weevil or uh, uh, this insect is about 3 to 4 millimeter in length and uh, it has got four yellowish light spot on the elytra you can make out these are uh, having some spots on. So this is uh, the identification marks head is projected forward into a form of a rostrum you can see a pair of stout mandibular jaws at the extremity of the uh, there is a jaws are present you can see thereby it can able to um, make you know it can uh, 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 it, it can able to chew or it can able to make holes in the grains with the help of this rostrum. 
A pair of stout mandibular jaws at the extremity of the rostrum. Rostrum of male is shorter and broader as compared to the female. Rice weevils are good flyer. They can fly uh, from uh, one uh, uh, place to other place and also they can crawl also. So the lifespan of this uh, adult weevil is about 4 to 5 months. They can be uh, uh, without grain also they can live about 1 month. So it is very you know important one should keep the storage uh, you know the rooms and all uh, the, the clean because they may infest at any time you know. So Cetophilus oryzae it is uh, the adult after copulation adult female bores a hole in the grain. So it is wherever the whatever the grain it may be wheat or it may be rice. So the it make a hole in the grain and uh, deposit a single egg in the grain cavity. So this is uh, the grain it make a bore in the grain and uh, lays egg inside it. A female may lay as, as many as 300 to 550 eggs in a duration of 4 to 5 months. Eggs hatches into the this is these are eggs egg hatches into the larva this larva is called grubs you know it's in the coleoptera it is called the grubs it is yellowish brown head and you might have seen the the worms what you see in the uh, or these uh, grubs inside the uh, stored uh, rice in your house or stored any grains in your house so these yellowish brown uh, head and uh, biting uh, jaws they also bore uh, the food grain and feeding on it starchy content and uh, hallowing it making hole in it the grub stage is about uh, 90 to 34 days and it is constantly it is uh, uh, burrowing uh, or uh, sorry the boring the the grain so it uh, pupates and uh, in the in, in inside the rice or inside the grain shell itself it pupates the pupa stage is about 3 to 6 days and uh, the adults uh, formed after pupation bores its way to the other grains in this way they multiply and into a large number if you are not going to check these grains then uh, they will multiply in a very short period after the emergence of the adult weevils are ready for breeding again the adult period once they come out as a adult they breed immediately so this is uh, the life cycle of this uh, uh, Cetophilus oryzae so this uh, what are the effects of this rice weevil so you will see these are the the stored how the the maize you will find uh, by boring they make uh, these are into uh, powdered and uh, you can see the so lost, uh, this all the almost all grains uh, this uh, bottle is uh, infested you know so this is also you will find uh, the rice and uh, these are the grubs you will find in the crawling in the rice so both adults and the grubs cause damage the adults bore the grain lays eggs in the in the grain the developing larvae leaves and feeds inside the grain causing irregular holes of 1.5 millimeter diameter on grains of rice sorghum wheat barley maize before harvest and also in the storage they may uh, even in the uh, the field also they may eat on this or else they may in the storage both larvae and adult feed in the same way so they have a, a you can see the, the chewing uh, mouth parts and they uh, they going to bore the same way the weevils destroy more than what they eat so that is what you can see the the thing is you know it is not these are all uh, the wastage that is uh, because uh, what you know they destroy the grain what uh, more than what they eat so the rice weevil adults can crawl and fly feed on various products beans nuts grapes apples peas all these you know it's not just grains it may uh, even the beans nuts or else uh, uh, the fruits like grapes apples peas all these are get infested by the rice weevil they frequently cause almost complete destruction of grain stores godons sometimes stored grains in the godons the uh, government uh, godons and all they you know they have a severe problem of this even in the stores and all 
where conditions are favorable and grain is undisturbed for some length of time that's that's the ideal condition and you can see how exactly the wheat is de destroyed by this uh, uh, rice weevil or else uh, citophilus uh, oryzae this one rice weevil infest all types of grains wheat corn macaroni uh, oats barley sorghum kafir seed but it all this you know so they will be you know it is not they uh, they feed on all these uh, uh, cereals and uh, the pulses and fruits and all. They can survive up to month or long period without any food also in the stores. What are the controlling measure of this uh, rice weevil? Controlling rice weevil pests involves inspection, const you know, regular inspection of uh, whatever the stored grains and the disposal of all infested food foods. So they may. Uh, you know fly and they may crawl and uh, they may infest other you know the uh, you know um, uh, uh, the grains of the, the grains stored grains other grains stored grains in we will proof container that is also some plastics and uh, uh, some uh, steel container uh, where uh, uh, you know the, it is we will proof so we should use uh, such uh, containers so that we can get rid of these uh, rice we will vacuuming the storages Keeping in freezing temperature in stores, preserve we will free grains for a long duration. So, in a cold condition, they, uh, you know, the uh, keeping in the cold storage or else vacuuming the storage. So, all these uh, are the measures to control the this uh, we will's infestation. Temperature control can also be used to control the rice we will keeping infected food below freezing temperature for three days retards the so some minor infested food we cannot throw entire thing so so we can keep it in a freezing temperature so that it retard then we can clean it so all these uh, the measures one can take heating to 60 degree for 15 minutes uh, uh, destroy all development stage of rice we will thereby we can store for a longer duration fumigation addition of dry ice use of natural repellents like bay, dry bay leaves, neem leaves, cloves, garlics, ginger, so the pungent smell uh, you know the natural products. So all these are uh, uh, helpful to control this weevil. So sometimes even the mild insecticides also used in the um, you know the stores and all to control these weevils. So this is about uh, the rice weevil, thank you.